Hey boys and girls, it's Mrs. Walker. Today we're going to work on our fluency with two activities that you should be very familiar with now because we've done them in the previous two lessons. So we're going to talk about renaming tens. So our learning goal for that activity is I can rename tens. And then we're also going to talk about finding that halfway point on a vertical number line again. This time we're going to work um, with the numbers being larger in both of these fluency activities. But our second learning goal is I can find the halfway point on a number line. So let's jump in and get started with renaming tens. So remember, I'm going to write how many tens and you'll say the value of the tens. So five tens equals, and you would say, 50. Here's where we're going to kind of step it up a little bit. In the last lessons, we've done some with um, two-digit tens, but now we're going to make the numbers even larger. So let's say we have 54 tens. So if I have 54 tens, the value of 54 tens is 540. Remember that awesome trick is where you can add the zero to the end of the number, and that's going to give you your value of those tens. So five tens right here went from five to adding that zero and it turns into 50. We have 54 add to that zero in that ones place and it turns into 540. So use that as your awesome trick to be able to find out um, the value of larger groups of tens. Okay, so here we go, let's get started. So the first one is nine tens. We'll start off with one that's a little bit more simple for what we've been learning uh, before I get to challenge you guys even more today. Okay, so nine tens. What's the value of nine tens? Yeah, 90, great job. Okay, okay, stepping it up just a little bit. What's the value of 10 tens? Oh yeah, that's a magic one. 10 tens is 100, remember? Good job. All right. 80 tens. Okay, whew, we're making it a little bit more challenging now. Remember that trick where you just want to bring that zero in to the very end. So 80 turns into 800. So the value of 80 tens is 800. Great job. Oh, 63 tens. What's the value of 63 tens? Remember that trick? Yeah, 630. Okay, so the value of 63 tens is 630. 52 tens. What's the value of 52 tens? Yeah, 520. Great job, friends. Okay, so you guys did an awesome job with renaming tens. Now let's jump in and go over again how we're finding that halfway point on the number line. This is also going to be super helpful for us in our concept development lesson for today. So make sure that you take some time to really go over how we're finding the halfway point on these number lines, these vertical number lines. Remember the up and down number lines. If you need more practice, talk with your learning guide or watch this video again so you can have some more practice with that. Okay, but let's review how to do it. So we're going to find the halfway point on the number line. We're going to share, I'm going to share the vertical number line with the two endpoints. And then you're going to determine the halfway point between the two endpoints. Okay, so here's my first one, 30 and 40. So if I draw my points in between, my halfway point is 35. Remember, think about it as like 0 and 10, and right in between there is 5. Ah, so now your numbers are getting a little bit bigger now. You still have 10 in between here, okay? So really for this one, you can even cover up the hundreds place and you're still just looking at the numbers that we've been doing, the two digit numbers. So what's halfway between 130 and 140? 135, okay? Because there's one, two, three, four right here and one, two, three, four on the top. So it's right there in the middle, four on the top, four on the bottom, and you're getting your midpoint or halfway point on the number line. Okay, so the next set is 830 and 840. So you can draw your lines in between. You wanna find that middle one, remember four on the top, four on the bottom, and your midpoint or halfway point is the one right in the middle. So one, two, three, four. So it's going to be right here in this middle part. So 830, 
831, 32, 33, 34, 35. So 835. All right, next one is 560 and 570. Okay, so you can draw your you can draw your lines right there. Remember, think about this. You can even cover up that hundreds place and just go between 60 and 70. Makes it maybe a little bit easier for us. Okay, because when you're looking at the halfway point, you're still finding you're looking really to kind of like that ones place. 565. Awesome job, friends. All right, 460 and 470. What's the halfway point for this one? Remember, you want four lines on the top, four or sorry, four lines on the top, four lines on the bottom, and here's your midpoint. So you could really go 461, 462, 463, 464, 465 is our halfway point on the number line. All right, good job with this today, friends. You rocked your fluency practice. Again, like I said, you can always go back and watch these fluency videos more than one time um, and definitely talk about it with your learning guide because these two activities are super duper helpful for what we're working on in our concept development. So please head back on over to the module to see what you need to complete next. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye friends. Mm -hmm.